Every parent has been there. You're out in public, your child starts screaming and ends up flailing on the ground. The dreaded tantrum. Even the royal family goes through it. You can see two-year-old Princess Charlotte had enough of her trip to Germany last week. <laughs> it's a natural part of maturing, but why do kids have tantrums? Good question. Heather Brown found a little relief in the answer. He uh, really knows about the words no. And it can be funny to talk about after it's happened. He had made like a big thing of cars and she was looking at it. She insisted she drinks her water or coconut water in the bathroom. She's not wanting to bring her stool to brush her teeth. I want an ice cream truck. No ice cream truck. I want an ice cream truck. <laughs> Every time my kids have a tantrum, I feel like the worst parent. Am I? <laughs> So I thought that that could potentially be the answer to that question, <laughs> but no, no, because every, every child tantrums. Dr. Megan Miller is with Alina Health. She's also mom to a one and four year old. So even the child psychologist, even a child psychologist is managing tantrums oh, at home. You're making yes. me feel better. <laughs> well, mostly because they don't get what they want. It's a developmental stage. It's something they're working through. Um, being able to express your emotions is a skill. It's like riding a bike. We can't expect our kids to just know it right off the bat. Adults process emotions in the front part of the brain. That's not really matured until adolescence and beyond. I wish I could have a tantrum when I was mad about something, but fortunately it doesn't look very good these days. Our kiddos, the really young ones, they're using more of a centered part of the brain called the amygdala, which is where all our um, emotions, kind of emotion center is. Sometimes it's their ways of um, expressing themselves. Do you like your new baby sister? No. Do you love her? No. It's kind of our animal selves and it helps us, um, you know, we're supposed to be anxious. It helps us detect danger and helps us stay away from things that might not be good for us. Kids are also built to use their imagination. Fostering that creative thought is really great and sometimes their imagination leads them to a misconstrued thought, like I might go down the toilet or I might go down the drain. So parents, even duchesses, have to teach, sometimes grin, and bear it. Well, good luck. <laughs> Heather Brown. Yep. <laughs> you just have another couple years to go. Right. WCCO 4 News. Our expert says that the best way to deal with tantrums is to be calm, be calm and talk with them at eye level. You can give them space, but she doesn't recommend leaving them entirely alone. Ultimately, the best thing for the kids is structure, consistency, and modeling good behavior. If you have a good question for Heather, please email it by going to wcco.com links.